Our plan was to have a town hall meeting here and shut down on those stage do the right thing. Like uh, our sister Yemi Adamolekun who spoke said, we have tolerated this nonsense for too long in Ondo State. And the people of Ondo State, people used to invoke Ondo State's name to fight against oppression. When oppression now became the governor of Ondo State, Ondo State people could not talk. Thank you. So, as we were planning to wrap up the year, we discovered that we have to intervene in Ondo State. And it's not because Ondo State is our state, and from Ondo State as well, but because, as we say in our days as student union leaders, this is another challenge, you, another challenge, you, another challenge, you, double, double challenge. You. Another challenge you, another challenge you, another challenge you, double challenge you. Nigeria students. Yeah. So, and we said we will intervene, and we gave only one week to intervene. This crisis in Ondo State has been going on for more than one year. All the political parties could not solve the problem. We decided that we intervene, and within one week, everybody was arranged in proper order. The person who they claim is recovering, so then they said they want to go back to hospital. And we asked them, if you are writing a letter that you are going on another medical leave, did you come back from the last medical leave? No. I cannot tell you did not come back since September. He has not stepped his foot in Akure on those days. Where his office is allocated, I mean, located, Akere Dolu has become a ghost worker in Ondo State. He is the most, by the way, he is the most expensive ghost worker in Nigeria's history. Somebody who did not come to work but squandered 7.9 billion naira on security votes. And we want to tell the guys in Abuja, their senior brother. Tinubu? Yes. I don't know why he thinks that he can just sit down in Abuja and tell Ondo State people what to do. Ondo State is different from Lagos. Ondo State is different from the nonsense that brought them to power. And I don't know why Tinubu is always comfortable with forgery. Yes. How can you accept the forgery of the signature of a governor? Even after they claim they resolve the problem, he still has them to go and forge another letter. Ask members of the House of Assembly to show you a copy of the letter that they said that Katie wrote again. You cannot find the letter because there's no letter. All those state people must stand up. People have asked me, they, oh, maybe she wants wants to be governor of Ondo State. I said, Ondo State is too small for me to govern. Yes. We have people who can govern on those states better than Akechi. And they will contest in the next election, but that's not what we are here for. In fact, Nigeria is too small for us to govern. We want to govern the continent of Africa. Yes. Yes. That is our ambition, that's our desire, and that's our goal. We want to unite Africa and govern it as one entity. So I'm not here to become on those states governor. And I want to also say that it is a shame that all the scared. When we wanted to come for this meeting, they were scaring us up and down. DSS will arrest you, uh, slap you. It's my state. Come and slap me now. And we are here today. Where are they? It is because we demonstrated courage. And the DSS that went to go and disturb the danger of Akure will still handle their problem. But we also want to use this opportunity to tell our traditional rulers not to be afraid of anybody. If this 
cup was not made available to us, we would have gone to the Deji's palace to go and hold the town hall meeting. Because palaces are designed for holding town hall meetings. In fact, it's Yoruba people that started holding town hall meetings. the palace and they would have the up and the with different jobs. We are glad that we adopt that peacefully. I just want to also say briefly Yoruba because we'll wrap
Invocation of doctrine of necessity so that Akere Dolu can go and take care of his health. And I want to also send a message to the president of Nigeria, their president now, that on those states is not an appendage of Aso Rock. So he has no right to dictate to the people of on those states how to run their states. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, all of us are leaders here. Anybody that came here today is not only a leader, is a revolutionary. It takes a lot of courage to come to Akure today. You know, um, thank you very much, everyone watching us from all over Nigeria. I wish you guys compliments of a very, very difficult season. Thank you very much. Thank you.